Uh, hello guys, it's McLean33 here. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but today uh, I would like to show you something new that I tried out. Um, this is Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Uh, I'm just going to give you a short uh, overhead of how Windows 8 may look if, uh, if you guys haven't tried it yet. Um, I installed this on a uh, virtual machine or virtual box. Uh, just to give it a try and overall um, I will say I am not that pleased with uh, what Microsoft has been doing with this um, but uh, let, let me let me go into a little bit more detail um, first off this is how the Metro interface will look when you sign in um, you have all your tiles here, um, you know, calendar, photo, store, desktop, video, weather, uh, camera, Xbox, games, Internet Explorer, stuff like that. It's all here. Um, the thing is, Microsoft. I don't know what they were thinking, but they were they trying trying to purposely make this harder for people to use. I don't understand because typically a person doesn't react to change uh, very well. Um, l let me show you, for example, to get to get the these icons right here, you have to point your arrow down at the bottom, and then you have settings, devices, start, share, and search. Well, in settings here, you got this: show administrative tools. And then, you know, it takes off that stuff that was on there. But, I mean, th that's just, you know, part of it. Um, to go, to shut down the computer, they made it like a two-step process. Uh, in order to do that, you have to point your arrow to here. And you have to go to settings, and then you would click power. It would shut that. Well, well, I don't understand why would they make that so difficult to use. Um, what else? Uh, the next thing that people will notice if you go to your desktop, here's your desktop. Uh, it looks just like Windows 7, except for your start button. Start button is gone. Why would Microsoft remove the start button? Instead, they replaced it with this thing. You put your arrow all the way down the bottom. You have this, and it just brings you back to the Metro UI. So you're probably wondering, oh, geez, what happened to, I don't know, control panel? It's not, there's no start button, so how can you get to it? Well, I'll show you. When you start up, you have to go to desktop, then you have to put your arrow to here, then you have to go to settings. Oh, look, control panel. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. That's what I have to say to this. Why the hell would Microsoft make this so difficult to get into? Having to go through all this Jigamaru steps. Was it so hard to just put start control panel like in Windows 7? <sighs> Anyways. Yeah, as far as control panel goes, everything's the same in there. They haven't changed anything. The other part I don't understand, um, personalization, they have it here, or you could right click, personalize. I mean, I don't understand why they have to put that in two spots. As far as themes, you, you know, you can choose whatever themes that they have. I haven't really messed around with that, I just left it the, the default. Um, I went and, st and installed Google Chrome. I will admit, Internet Explorer 10 is uh, pretty fast, uh, much better improvement uh, than uh, than the previous Internet Explorers. That's for sure. Um, but I'm not. I never been a fan of Internet Explorer. I'm just, you know, I always use Google Chrome, so that's the way I'm staying. Uh, let's see what else. Um, as far as this, I mean, that's all the same. 
Time hasn't changed. Time's still the same. So desktop, they haven't really messed around with. What I want to show you next is the UI in the Metro. You have things like, um, you know, the Microsoft Store, for example. And this is all very nice. I mean, it's great. Yeah, you can install apps and everything. Cool. It'll be perfect for tablets like Microsoft is trying to go towards. But does this really work the best on computers, desktops, and laptops? This is where many people are asking that question. I, I don't think this is the correct way for Microsoft to go, personally. They should either have just Metro for tablets and go with regular desktop for Windows 8 or it needs to split up or there needs to be a way to get rid of the Metro UI. Currently the only way you could get rid, rid, of, rid of the Metro UI is going through some freaking hack in, in the uh, registry which I don't even want to mess with. But um, uh, let me show you some top free stuff. Here's the top free apps that they have available. So here's Sketchbook, an app uh, on iOS, Android. So you just click install, real easy. And then I'll tell you installing Sketchbook Express right up there. And there he goes, it's installed. And now we're going to exit the app. Oh, wait a second. How do you exit this app? I don't see a back button anywhere. That's your problem. Microsoft, it took me a while to understand this. I had to actually look up a video on how to exit. It's either Alt F4 or you do this. You go up to the very top and see this arrow or this hand that shows up. You right click, no, left click, and then this is going to appear. And you're going to be like, oh, what do I do with this? Well, you have to hold it and then drag it downwards to close it. Why the hell would you have to do all that? Was it so hard to not just put an X up in the corner here what was it so hard for them to do that just a small X up here I'm not asking for anything big but no instead you have to go through this jigamaru oh let me drag it down like that I mean it's it's unbelievable here's the calendar for example great way to add appointments and stuff like that and okay so yeah there's your calendar you could add a title add a message cool save it and then to close it you gotta do that drag it down and that's how it goes for all the apps um... i don't know uh... uh I'm, I'm i'm hoping that uh they change, they add back the start button feature at least and they make it a possibility to remove the UI, the Metro UI because I'll tell you right now, not everybody's going to be a fan of that not everybody's going to enjoy that and this, I don't even know if this app's even working, like I'm clicking everywhere and nothing's happening so, great uh, another broken app I already had two broken apps installed on here that didn't even work. Alright, well, this video is almost 10 minutes long. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, please leave your comments and let me know. Do you think Microsoft should add back to start? Should get rid of the UI interface altogether? What should I do? Let me know your opinions. Thanks. See you guys.